to the Jobber Circle Wrestling Podcast. We are back after yet another hiatus. Here we are again. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I like doing these pay-per-view ratings with you. I think this is what Jobber Circle Wrestling needs to be. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing to keep up with the whole giant world of wrestling nowadays. Um, there's plenty of other great wrestling podcasts out there. And, you know, we don't think we're better than anybody else unless your name is Jim Cornette. Um, you know, you know <laughs> or you unless, suck it. yeah, unless you, or unless you post constant clickbait every fucking day, like yeah. World we'll Culture Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, hey, still like those guys too. But yeah, <laughs> nonetheless, we like doing these rating videos. It's fun. We have a night out of it. We order pizza. We drink. We mm-hmm. watch wrestling, and then afterwards, we do these uh ratings. So uh, just please uh or not please, <laughs> you can expect um <laughs> you can expect more. I don't know where that came from. You can expect more wrestling content uh, or rating uh pay per view content. Content yeah. from us so whether that be once a month whether that be twice a month if there's you know aw and wwe pay-per-view uh this aw if, if this quake at the what is it quake, quake at the, by lake, the lake yeah if this is good we might come back <laughs> and review like this that. so we're just trying to get back on the bandwagon people yeah um but nonetheless let's start with SummerSlam. what do you think overall SummerSlam overall um i think that i'm liking the new wwe i feel like now that vince is out of the picture um, you know, we have things such as like Michael Cole getting to say WWE fans like yeah. that's that's a big deal to some people and especially to him because <laughs> he really, uh, you know, he uh, what were they? They said something about uh, what was that little side comment that they made? With him and Corey Graves. Yeah, something like Corey Graves said you couldn't do that or something, uh-huh. or you're not allowed to. Oh, Corey Graves was like, you're not allowed to voice your opinion. And, he, and Michael Cole made that comment where he's like, well, that's changed. A lot's changed. Yes. So um, that just proves it right there. So what you're saying is that people are happy Vince is gone. Yes. You think so? Uh huh. I think there are those people, like, you know, the ones that, you know, had to hold back on what they said or how they dressed or how they acted. You I know? didn't notice, too, well, like you said, con- saying fans and things like that. I didn't notice, too, like one thing AEW has been doing since day one, the WWE hasn't been known for, unless your name was Earl Hebner, oh. was mentioning the referees. Mm-hmm. You know, or Charles Robinson. That's yeah. literally the only two WWE referees that they really would mention. Yeah, um, true. Yeah, so you can see the – yeah, I, I think when Vince retired, a lot of people thought – or, you know, quote-unquote retired, Twitter retired. Um, <laughs> yeah, he still hasn't actually come out and said it in On front of WWE people. television, exactly. Yeah. So that's uh, that begs the question. Because in wrestling, nobody truly retires. I mean, look, Ric Flair is having yet another retirement Ric match. Ric Flair is having his last match ever, yes, guys. Yes, it's like oh, – and I'm sure, you know, if he can still go, that might not be it, especially if he gets more of those offers coming and might buy himself another Rolex. <laughs> um but yeah, we thought that Vince was like everyone thought. Like even you know, I, I like Shaggy and the Creep that podcast. Like yeah. even they're like, really is Vince really retired? He's gonna be in the back. You know, Shaggy made a comment. He's gonna be in the back with his hat tipped over yep. and a little trench coat, saying, "No, this is what in you got to do." In the shadows. But yeah. I don't know if anyone's Triple H is head of creative now, so if anyone can kind of put his foot down and say, "Hey, like I'm in charge now, man. Like you guys yeah. let me do my thing." Yeah. Hopefully, somebody um, stands up to him because he thinks he can walk all over other, everybody else. So we're we gonna see a change to NXT two. Um, Are they going to go back to before maybe. 2.0? It, it NXT 3.0? <laughs> right? They just revamp it again. Oh, gosh. Well, uh, I know we're speaking on, you know, we went on the side with it. Because, that, I mean, that's giant news. Vince retiring. I mean, yeah. we know why he's retiring. This whole case against him. I mean, he yeah. wouldn't, let's face it, he wouldn't have retired if it wasn't for these allegations against him. Um, we're not going to dig into, you know, deeper into yeah, that. Yeah, not that, into that drama. Those have been out, and it's like actually not concluded yet. There's more and more coming out pretty much every every week or so. So yeah. when, I guess, that is settled, then we'll, I guess, we'll, we'll talk about it as we hear news, but then when it's settled, we'll, we'll probably, something yeah. like that, we have to do an episode I was going to say, yeah, something that has to do like with the final outcome of everything. Right, right. So SummerSlam started off with uh, Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch. What a match that started off. Yeah, I feel like this is a match that has been... Been, um, brewing, you know, because they this feud has been uh, ongoing since SummerSlam a year ago. You know, uh, Bianco uh, gets beaten twenty six seconds. They make a really big deal out of it. They like they plant it in everyone's head, like you know, this is what their beef stems from, and you know, they're just they just got to hash it out, I guess, one last time, essentially. Um, so yeah, I mean, and it was a good match too. Great, great way to start. And then uh, Bank- Bianca's uh, home state, because mm-hmm. uh, I think they're Nash- Nashville, and she's from Knoxville, right? Knoxville. So, yeah, home, home state, so yeah, tomato. Yeah. You know, still representing, but... Exactly. Um, and then that sp- Spanish fly finish, I really liked that. Mm-hmm. I really did like that It was that like finish. Spanish fly and then KOD, right? At the end? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that was pretty cool. And then, Well, the Spanish fly, that's a move that you don't normally see in WWE. Exactly. We see that a lot in AEW, but to see it in WWE and then, like, them two, they pull it off perfectly. Like, that oh, was, yeah. It was, uh, that was great. Um, and then after the match, of course, Bianca Belair won, mm-hmm. retained the title in her own yeah. state. Yeah. And then we were kind of wondering what's next. You know, of course, Bianca Belair is whoever's next in line for the title. But then we yeah. were kind of wondering right after the match finished, like, what's yeah. next for Becky? I'm like, thinking, like, Becky's going to have a nervous breakdown. Like, yeah, she's been jobbing, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's all for a reason. Yeah. And like. then, yeah. And that's exactly what we saw. Um, so you want to explain what happened after that? I mean, of course, if you're, if you're listening to this, um, you know, we're not going to go step for step what happened. Right. But yeah, it's kind of just our review. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, our but, favorite parts of it is, is what you can say. Right. Right. But this was a big part. Yeah. yeah. This is a big return. Bailey's big, uh, like long awaited return. People have been waiting for her. She's been gone for over uh, over a year, I think. Ju- yeah. Middle of July was like a year. So. I guess you could say a year. Um, so Bailey's big return, and guys, she was not alone. Dakota Kai and Iro Shirai, which, who has now been renamed to Iro Sky. Yeah, we thought that was like a Corey that. Graves mess up. Yeah, but it turns <laughs> out it was just her real her new name. But then her time trial still by, said so. Iro Shirai. Right, they didn't update her oh, thing. That's what it. that's what really confused us for sure. So is WWE uh, start? You think they're going to start to try to build more factions now? Yeah, is what it looks like, women's yeah. factions, because, yeah. And, like, at this point, I wouldn't even care. Like, it's not even, if they do that, I wouldn't even be the ones that are like, oh, they're copying AW. It's like, yeah, they obviously are. But no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but, yeah, no, but, but I mean, a faction is a faction. I love factions. Like, I yeah. think a lot of people do. Like, I have I was a kid, like, in old wrestling games. Like, I would make, like, factions out of, ev- like, where basically everybody in the roster had a, a <laughs> faction that they belonged yeah. to. Like, I thought that was the coolest shit as a kid. And, like... AW took note of it and has been doing it since day one. That was that's Tony awesome. Khan's favorite. Like, yeah, exactly. Like I said, if WWE does it, hey, you know, that's fine yeah. with me. You yeah. know, I'm not going to be the one, oh, you did the same thing they did. Like, it's it's wrestling. Yeah. It's like it's like The Simpsons, you know. Eventually, Family Guy is going to do an episode to copy The Simpsons. And eventually, True. South Park's going to do an episode that copies Family Guy. Because guess what? It's all it's all cartoons. Yeah, they're if, all going to be they're still their same. Exactly. Like, if you're <laughs> in the world of wrestling, there's going to be repeat patterns. Just like in yeah. comedy, there's comedians that comedy. say... <laughs> comedy. There's comedians <laughs> that say jokes that, you know, people say like, oh, well, you stole my joke or you stole my premise. It's like, no, just great minds think alike. Like, yep. you had a funny joke about this guess what i experienced that in my life too so i have a joke about that yeah like you know what i mean it's just like you can't do this thing where it's like oh they're copying this person that's copying this person unless it's like tna let's face it impact did do a thing when you know around wrestlemania 30 when they had the daniel bryan underdog story they try to make the exact same thing happen with eric young the eric young underdog story now that was a complete (laughs) ripoff but things like factions that's just that's cool in wrestling and i feel like for me like my opinion on factions would be like the cool thing about them, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to clear my throat. <clears throat> so the cool thing about factions that I feel because it actually essentially happened to me tonight because I l- like Bailey, you know, I enjoy her as a performer. And now because of this, like if you like one person in a faction, I feel like you'll eventually grow on the others because exactly. before before Bailey, I'm like, oh, cool. She's back. We love it. We love to see it. And then it's like Dakota Kai. I'm like, oh, cool. Dakota Kai's here in EO Sky. And I'm like. Oh, I like all of them now. You know, yeah. no, so that's the cool thing. So, what would you rate the um, the Becky uh, Bianca Belair match? Um, of Did course, we even discuss our rating? Well, you know, of course, same, 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 yeah, same, but same different diff. as always. One is potato. Two is uh, we, it, you know, it was good. Then we had good solid. But I think yeah. you know, just just be solid. Yeah. You know, so so one potato, of course, two is solid, which is still necessarily good. Three is this is awesome. Four is elite, and five is brass ring. Which would be the you know the best moment? I think we've given out some brass rings before, haven't we? Yeah, we have a couple here and there. Yeah, okay. So, what would you rate this match? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a this is awesome. Um, a three. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll give it a I'll give it a this is awesome too. Yeah, uh, uh, that's good. That's yeah. Good. Um, after that we had Logan Paul and the Miz. Oh, I feel like this match could have been like before the main event. Mm. Or is it just me? No. Uh, yeah, it could have been. Yeah, like you're just talking about if they it, this match could have switched spots with uh, Liv and Rana, but then you couldn't have two wrestling two women's at the same time. That's True. probably why they did it. But True. it definitely could have been the popcorn match. But it was it was an entertaining. Like it wasn't it wasn't a wrestling clinic. Yeah. But it was an entertaining match. Yeah. Entertaining very storyline. You know, I, I liked it. I think it's pretty awesome to see Logan Paul in a different environment, other than you know behind a microphone or, you know, 
all the other on stuff the that he does on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. You know, it was it was cool to see him in a different um in a different way. And man, he really showed out. He even had kind of different gear, which was cool. Yeah. Um, you know, John and Lawrence looking gear. That's like oh, but he does look like he go belongs to Cobra Kai. He right. Uh, but the, he didn't have the poke the Pokemon card. But no. Miz had his uh his Polaroid. <laughs> his original Polaroid. And he his says Polaroid frame even had like he said the, one of one. <laughs> yes, he even had like the grading and stuff. Yes. Um. So yeah, it was a, it was a fun match. You know, it, it, I think it, these types of matches, it's kind of like a celebrity match. Like yeah. Like, I know Logan Paul's been legit training, but he's still. I don't know. He's still kind of like in that celebrity status where he hasn't. I, I, I'm I, debating myself because by the end of this match, I think he's kind of switched over to wrestler now from celebrity to wrestler. I think this match proved he proved himself. Exactly. And, and I, it, the reason why he did that is because, um, like I was telling you in the beginning of the match, when the fans were, were still not behind him, yep. like he was performing a little sus. He was performing good throughout the whole match, the whole match. But the fans were still weren't behind him. Yeah. And I was telling you, I was like, man, like. That kind of sucks. Like, he's legit showing, like, that he can do it. And, you know, they're giving him the Ronda Rousey treatment. But it wasn't until he did that frog splash off the turnbuckle to the Perfection. outside. Onto the announce table. Perfect yeah. target landing. Yeah. Everyone, I think, by that point, got behind Logan oh, Paul. Oh, yeah, he's, the pop. He's transitioned over from celebrity to mm-hmm. he can he can do this. Yeah. You know, that was better. That, that was probably the best outside to the announce table dive I've ever seen. Like, that was better than Shane McMahon. Like, Shane McMahon, the younger years, could do it really well. But, like, yeah. even in the older years, there was times where he'd barely reached that elbow across. Shawn Michaels, I think, had a good one in WrestleMania. I forgot which WrestleMania it is because, you know, if you've been watching wrestling long enough, you know, if you're a wrestling fan, matches start to merge together. But there was one <laughs> where he went from the middle and springboard from the middle and did a backflip onto the Undertaker on the announce table. But I see, like I said, it's bleeding over. The Undertaker yeah. might have moved. But even then, he didn't land it perfectly. He freaking, like, his hip, like, he, like, folded over the announce table like that. I mean, <laughs> you can't see it on video, but yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, the, that was, like, perfect execution. Yeah. And that, if he gave my, gave my respect before, that definitely gained my respect. For sure. I definitely say that that frog splash was phenomenal. Yeah. And speaking <laughs> of phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, so, of course, AJ Styles had his moment with Champa. Yeah, um, I don't know what that was for because just they give. played his music and then they didn't even let him have his own entrance. He just came out of the side, attacked Champa, and then he was just disappeared. Yeah, He's gone. just to put him on the show, and that's <laughs> kind of sad for AJ Styles. Like, I know. Yeah, I feel it. like he deserves better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that, but yeah, you know, I guess it is what it is. But this match, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a two. Um, it was a solid match. Like I said, it was. It wasn't a, as far as a wrestling match. Um, it was solid. They like say everything was solid. It was good. You know that frog yeah. splash was probably the best moment. That if we can, yeah. you know, highlight that frog splash moment. That'd probably be a three. This is awesome, of course. But overall, I'd you know, especially with the fans not even be really being behind it until the end of the match. True. Not being behind this whole storyline until the end of this match. <laughs> yeah. Um, until that one moment. So I'd give it a two. I'm gonna give it a two. Also, that sounds. That's a pretty solid thing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, we had uh, the only Otis and Gable. Uh, Otis and Gable. Um, That's their SummerSlam moment. Their only SummerSlam moment was in a Snickers commercial, and then the Max Dupree or the Maximum Male Models. Their only SummerSlam moment was uh, doing a pure life shoot. Yeah, and can we talk a second about how Max Dupree oh, just God. showed back up? Yeah, because I thought he was done. I thought he was done, but that was only Vince's doing. Like Vince was the one who decided that he wasn't going to be good for this Maximum Dupree models or whatever. And again, that's showing just sh- maybe Vince doesn't have yeah. really doesn't have as much power anymore. Triple H calls him up. Hey, uh, hey you're back. Vince didn't know what he was talking about. Let's just get let's just get you back in here. We need you for the Pure Life commercial. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm gonna let this wait out until they actually wrestle. But I'm not gonna go off on them yet. But I this is. Are you sure they're even gonna wrestle? I have no idea what's going because on. Because all they've been doing is coming out and I have no idea. They can yeah, wrestle. Yeah, you see, the I don't even gotta <laughs> explain it. I don't understand what's going on. I just feel like this whole maximum male model is stupider, the stupidest thing in wrestling. Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna moment. say it, and you know, at I was moment. gonna wait, but I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, the stupidest thing in wrestling. <laughs> you I, know I'm what? sorry. I'm, I'm a just wrestling gonna say fan. It. I don't I, care if you hurt your elbow. <laughs> yeah, that's good me. <laughs> but uh, I've been a wrestling fan since I've had a conscience. Okay, people, and this is dumber dumber than Gobbity Gooker. <laughs> This is dumber than Mae Young and Mark Henry having sex with a hand. <laughs> this is dumber than Katie Vick, the Katie Vick incident. Katie Vick was just fucked up, if you know about that. You said, um, <laughs> you what? said Mark Henry and Mae Young having sex with a hand, or having a, given a hand birth, baby, having sex and giving birth to a hand baby. 
This is uh, I this don't know is what's sad. Going on. But I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. What was after that? So after that, we had uh, Darian Lashley. Yeah. It was a really short match. That was a short match, um, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's what I said. I said if it's a short match, probably gearing up for him to have a cash in later. And we'll get to that. Yes, we will. Um, but short match, of course, Lashley won. Not really much to say about that. So that gets a- I don't know if Lashley will ever have another. Hopefully his next uh, storyline is more um, exciting. Yeah. He's, he's champion, so. <laughs> yeah. He, you United know, States champ. Yeah, he has that. So that match gets a two. I'm going to give it a two also. Okay. Yeah. Those sec- Max Dupree segments and all that, those don't get ratings. Yeah, well, they don't we get ratings. We- well, yeah, because technically those are I don't think they want ratings or do they want potatoes or. I mean, yeah, I was going to say technically they don't count because they get commercials, but they're lucky yeah. because if they did count, they would get potatoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Judgment Day and Los Mysterios. Oh, the Los Mysterios. You know, nod to Los Guerreros and yeah. even the Eddie Guerrero style, Scarface style shirt. You know, yeah. it, was, uh, it was awesome. Yeah. Like Rhea Ripley always be looking good. Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> you could definitely think that. Yeah. <laughs> um, this again, I feel like eh, it wasn't short. It was just like a, you know, we didn't time this match. It was just... a pr- it was a pretty mid match. I feel. Yeah, yeah. It was it was good for uh, the because basically the the best moment of this match was saving for the you know towards the end. Yes. When we had, I, I marked out for this moment. I you marked seriously out. did. I have it on video. Yeah. I think we should. <laughs> I seriously marked out for the edge. Like it kind of feels like a like. A new style, like, dare I say, cyber goth, yeah. you know, remix of The Brood. Yeah. And, you know, of course, if you've listened to this podcast, you know that the whole reason I got into wrestling, you know, to begin with was because of The Brood. Yeah. Um, and because of Gangrel. And it was honestly at the time where he was with Edge and Christian. And then, of course, when, you know, the new Brood came about with Gangrel and the Hardys, oh, God, forget about it. <laughs> you know, so that was a good moment. So, you know, I'm going to give this rating. As soon, it's like as soon as you saw that that fire hit, it was like with the music that automatically <laughs> was a four. It was an elite yeah. moment. Yeah. Just that alone, if we can just do the edge, no, if we can do the edge moment alone, I'd give that a five. I'd give that a brass ring. Yeah, but for the whole sake of the whole match, <laughs> uh, I want to give it a four. But what do you think, four or three? I want to give it a four too because I'm glad that uh, the Los Mysterios won. Yeah, but was it really an elite? It was an elite match. Um. It gets a three because it wasn't a lead match. Like I said, if I could do Edge it moment alone, three. that, that yeah. would get four or five. But for the whole match itself, it'll get a three. This is awesome. I can agree with that. Okay. 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 Then we had Pat McAfee versus bum ass Corbin. <laughs> that choir at the beginning was perfect. I feel like yeah. perfect. I was wondering what was going on, but it, that seems to be Pat's official song. And that kind of, yeah, cool. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. It what does he goes, say? Let's. Go. And then it's just like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, kind of like Seth Rollins. I don't know. I like yeah. I like choir. Symphony. It's giving Seth Rollins. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Like like the cradle filth, like symphonic metal. I like stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. kind of cool. Um, match was all right. N- nearly botched the finish, but he, yeah. he pulled off that sunset flip. I don't know if he was going for a sunset flip or a Canadian destroyer, but he yeah. pulled it off. Um, and uh, well, as we talked about it before, I wanted to just bring that up. You know, they were teammates back in the NFL days. Oh, yeah. And I feel they like, were. you know, I because they had like, you know, their, um, you know, their, co- their con- confrontations on SmackDown and stuff. And, you know, like yesterday on SmackDown, you had uh, Corbin in the. So he said he bought buys a front row ticket behind the announce table and it has a picture with an old. Pat McAfee's old mugshot, I guess, when he was like a teen, it looked like. Looking like Carrot Top. Yes. He does look like Carrot Top, right? right? And it says loser on it. <laughs> and I just thought that was really funny. Because <laughs> when you actually see the picture, and like Pat McAfee's just like staring at him, it's just like, what? <laughs> but, yeah. I, I, it was, you know, just to give Pat McAfee a match. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can start to expect Pat, Ma- Pat McAfee to have matches now yes. at uh, WrestleMania. I'm and, waiting for uh, Pat SummerSlam. McAfee versus Corey Graves. Corey right. Graves just That's always talking a match. Shit, That's a match. Pat yeah. McAfee and Corey Graves. Book it, Paul. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, that's gonna be the match. But yeah, so I guess we can expect Pat McAfee to do his little. That's more like he's he really like, I don't know. He's like stuck, kind of still stuck in between the celebrity, and he's not really like too much. Oh well, yeah, if Logan Paul is celebrity, Pat McAfee's a celebrity. Yeah, but he's but stuck the between thing is... celebrity and wrestler. But he's kind of more wrestler because he's a, he's a commentator too, right? But then 
then he would be stuck in between celebrity and commentator. And the wrestler, he just wrestles just because he's still athletic in his age. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Yeah. But regardless, I love Pat, Mac- Matt, Pat McAfee. Um, you know, watch his show all the time. Yeah. And he's freaking awesome. He's an awesome dude. <laughs> yeah, awesome he wrestler, is. Awesome wrestler. Awesome commentator. And uh, yeah, but this match gets a two. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna say two. Also. Yeah, I, I don't like like I said, you know, I can't be biased because if I want if yeah. I was biased, I'd give it I'd give this match a four just because my respect and my you know how much I like Pat McAfee. But yeah. then that wouldn't be fair, and people be like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Like you give <laughs> Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch a three, but you give Pat, you know what I mean? You yeah. can't do that. Yeah. So this gets a two. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. give it We're a two. We're gonna be also. fair, people. We're gonna be fair. Yeah. What's next? Uh, so Drew, um. McIntyre comes out for a promo. Doesn't have a match. Just comes out, talks to some kids. Because he's um, gonna fight. Talks to the crowd. He's yeah, gonna fight um, the winner of Brock and Roman. Right, right. Yes, for the so he gets his undisputed title uh, shot. So that I get that's what he came out to talk about. Did we even talk about the winners of the last few matches? See, that's the one thing we always forget about people. We what? talk about the match and we always forget about the winners. I know we said Lashley won. Um, Los Mysterios won. I know we said that. Oh, my phone just died. Uh, oh, we just didn't talk about who won between uh, Mine's bum, about to also. Uh, bum ass Corbin. Uh, yeah. Uh, who? Wait, Pat McAfee won. Yeah. Pat yeah. McAfee oh, yeah. Yeah. Win. We talked about the box on sunset flip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that Drew promo. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Drew promo. So he just comes out, talks about his uh, title shot uh, for the undisputed. Um, so whoever wins against Roman and uh, Brock. And I think that's all he came out for. Like nothing. Nobody really interrupted him or. So I guess this, we'll just see. This is where I started speculating where I was like, okay, because Roman, like, you know, he hasn't been around. He hasn't been wrestling. Even when he did wrestle in that tag match with the Usos the other day, he wasn't really involved. So yeah. we're like, what's going on? Like, there's, there's a mystery behind what's going on with Roman. He seemed pretty physical tonight, but we'll get into that. Yeah. And that's why I was like, okay, well, if Roman's, like, sick or something's up or he needs to take time off, this would be a good way to kind of, like, they know they can give Drew the ball and he can run with it. Uh-huh. So this might have been a good way to, like, maybe, you know, Austin Theory will, since he had that short match, you know, and he lost real quick. Maybe he will take that extra energy and cash in. And therefore, this will be a good way to um him basically being transitional, transitional. champion yep. to give it to Drew. And, of course, Drew can take that ball and run with it and do yep. whatever. He can go wherever from there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we'll just see where, the, where this leads, actually, with the Drew yeah. match. That's a really good... um. P- prediction right, right. Yeah, yeah yeah i mean we'll see if it planned out plans no. out it didn't plan out tonight um because <laughs> the next match uh well you want to talk about well this wasn't i guess this was the next but we'll talk about that because i see it the um wait did we talk about oh so this was a tag match i want yeah. to talk about the kid rock moment <laughs> you want you want to explain what happened there yeah so because we're rock. fans of kid rocket if you didn't if you saw that moment with kid rock and you know who she was who he was with we're like who's that lady that kid rock was with we're fans of her too she's freaking awesome yeah, look she's her hilarious up, she is fucking hilarious yeah like anytime i see her on a podcast like no matter who the freaking host is i just yeah. like i just want to hear her talk i forget her last <laughs> name but her name is tammy yeah tammy. Dang it! It's, it's Isn't her name Trailer Trash Tammy? Well, yeah, but she has an actual na- like name. Yeah, She's a human being. No, I'm I, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> no, she she would she wouldn't even care either way. She's she's awesome, man. She's awesome. Um, so that was just a funny moment with Kid Rock and uh Kid Rock and Tammy and there Tammy. making out, and then of course Kid Rock flicking off the camera, which I think at WrestleMania 25. They literally like, and again, this maybe this is another change because Kid Rock hasn't been allowed, or they haven't invited him back to rest in a wrestling event since WrestleMania 25 because they were angry that he flicked off the camera at WrestleMania 25. So after all these years, and WWE goes TV 14, Triple H takes over. Triple H is a fan of metal, fan of rock. You know, they're in Nashville. Kid Rock is freaking king of country, king of rock. I um, mean, you know, yeah, because he's kind of he's done it all. Has he done rap too? Well, I mean, technically his rock was like rock. I think rap. he's Dang. featured in some rap. Kid Rock stuff. got some range. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So all of a sudden, here comes here's Kid Rock back at a wrestling the exact event. exact same did, moment? And he did the exact same thing. He yeah. flicked off the camera again. That's why I went black. That has to be. That yeah. has to be why. Yeah, that's another sign right there. Oh, man. Yeah, so that, there you go. There's a little Easter egg for you people. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so uh, we had the Street Profits versus the Usos for the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. Yeah. Championship. 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 I, I, the was, champion. I mean, is there any highlight moments? Like, uh, see, this is one of those matches where it was it was actually pretty good. And with Double J, I don't like Double J, but it was all right. Yeah. Um, he was all right. He was kind of like just uh there. Yeah, he's there because they're in Nashville. I don't really under. Yeah, I think that's what it was. But like, he didn't even have like his moment or anything. Like, I thought nah. he would like interfere. He was just there being or, like, slap nuts. Yeah. 
Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty He's much. Being all slap nuts. I know Jeff Jarrett has a cult following, and there's a bunch of people that love him, but I don't know. But this match, I'd give this match a three just because I think it was, I think it deserves a three. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I got sidetracked. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, um, ooh, I was going to give it a two. Okay. I'll agree with you on the two. Yeah. The only thing I wasn't going to mention. could have done without Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, exactly. It could have just been a regular referee match. But, but it's solid. <laughs> one thing I was just going to mention, um, so... Usos did retain. Yeah. So Street Profits, like, what's next for Street Profits? Because I know they've been thinking of. I, I know hope, some people really have been speculating they that they're going to break them up. I really hope not. Because but did you see Montez Ford at the end? Like, no. he was pretty upset, and he looked like he was contemplating some shit. Like yeah. maybe he, he maybe can turn heel. The seeds there. Yeah. What it looked like. Oh, that might work if they. Yeah. If they turn Montez heel. Yeah. And make Dawkins. Did I say his name right? Yeah, Angelo yeah. Dawkins. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. Just something to, something to think about. Something to sit on until, um, you know, hopefully, you know. Er, that's uh, you weird. Know, Daw- Dawkins. That's like one of those, like you hear, I've heard his name a million times, but I've never actually said it. <laughs> I've always called him Angelo. Just so it's like, that's one of those things. You ever like write something? You ever <laughs> type something? Street, the other guy in Street Profits. There's times where I'm texting and I type something. And I'm like, like, like I type a drawer or something. <laughs> you're like, right? that is not the way you spell. And I'm like, that that is the way you spell. Has it always been spelled like that? Like it just looks so weird. That was like one of those moments. I think we all have those moments. Yeah, like. but um, yeah, I really hope. I really like the Street Profits, man. Yeah, I think they're awesome together. But mm-hmm. like I said, if they make Montez heal, then maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But because we want the smoke. Yeah. No, like, but this is like one of those things. Like, we want the smoke. This is one of those things. If they break up the street profits already and they still haven't fucking broken up the new day, like, come on, people. Like, right now, like, I know Biggie's on the shelf and, you know, man, ain't that. Yeah, like, that's man. a whole I, other I, story. That's I hope a whole Biggie. other story. Biggie, we man. miss you. Yeah, man, I really like Biggie and uh, his career might be over, man. That sucks. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah. Um. But I hope he returns in some capacity. He could be GM. You know, they they can find many oh, things for yeah. him. Return as a even as a commentator. Like I just want to yes. see Biggie on the on the tubes again. Yeah, he's funny. But uh, you know, not until he's completely ready and completely you know comfortable with it. Yeah. But now would kind of be the time to break up New Day. Yeah. Especially if Biggie were to come back and in, in you know one day, like I said, in any capacity, he can come back just to be like, hey, why are you two guys fighting? You know what I mean? But exactly. now is where you have, you're thinking of, you know, breaking the street profits up. Now is where you have uh, Woods or Kofi turning heel. Do something with that. They didn't Ooh, even show yeah. up at WrestleMania. New Day would be, even if they, were, they didn't have a match, they would be the host of, I mean, I said WrestleMania. They would be, because I was thinking of how they would like Summer host Slam. WrestleMania or they would be yeah. like a host of something like SummerSlam. And now yeah. they, where are they at? Yeah. You know were they even I mean? backstage? I don't That's know. That's sad. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, if you want to, you know, advance storyline where a tag team breaks up, do it to the New Day. And then you can always have them get back together. If Biggie were to come back and say like, hey, let's, let's you know, put this shit aside. Let's get back together. Yeah. You know, hire me. Paul, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. <laughs> so, uh, Liv Morgan and Ronda, or no. we'll, 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 the Matt and Seth Rollins. Matt yeah. and Seth Rollins, I'm sorry. I've been drinking people. <laughs> Pay-per-view night. Yeah, what so what do. even was that? So, so, uh, is ri- so Riddle <sighs> comes out. So, this is how it starts. Riddle comes out and um, uh, it sa- says that he's not medically cleared and says Seth, tell Seth to get out there. Well, there's like heavy security like following him. And, like, I just didn't understand that. That was just, I don't know. You think that was just to, uh... Yeah, that was just for the show. For the effect? For the effect, yeah. Oh. Um But, like, do you think Riddle is really hurt? Like, uh, his shoulder was taped up, so I hope it, like, oh, like, they said it was his neck. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Seth came me? and Your slammed neck? on his neck, yeah. But then, yeah, he did, so they, maybe it's a kayfabe injury, but then why would they do a kayfabe injury to avoid the match? Like, so then he must really be injured. Like, was his shoulder, was, <laughs> was his shoulder? I don't know what's going on, people. <laughs> I don't think any of us like do. Matt Riddle needs to be in WWE for the next twenty years. Oh yeah. How's he like? I mean, I know I don't want to be the one to say like, how's he really getting injured? It's like we would never understand what those, right. you know, uh, I don't even want to call them superstars anymore. <laughs> what those wrestlers go through, right? But shit, like Big E and then Riddle, like these are the guys I wanted to see on, you know, on I wanted to do pay per view ratings for the next freaking ten years, right? You know what I mean? Yes. It sucks. I hope Riddle's gonna be all right, but. Like I said, if they didn't even couldn't even do a match and they had to do a moment, was he all right? That that's what it was. It was a moment because yeah, there was no referee, there was no nothing. Like it was just a bunch of like, it was just um. Oh yeah, you want to go ahead and explain everything else that happened? 
Um, well, just Riddle basically came out and right. said, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cleared. I'm fine. The yeah. Security came out, and then Rollins Seth came out, out, and they're uh, freaking. I, I man, yeah, I love Rollins. Like freaking laughing, jokerish personality. Yeah. But yeah, he stomped on his neck and then laughed about it, and that was that. Yeah, so, it's pretty much it. It, was, yeah. it all happened in about two minutes. So yeah, exactly. If you would <laughs> blink, you would have missed it. Just like if you would have blinked, you would have missed. Uh, we can just go ahead and talk about Kane coming out because that's a good transition. <laughs> so Kane so, just comes uh, out Glenn for Jacobs half a second. <laughs> comes out for two seconds to announce the attendance. Uh, yeah. So like it was like the only cool thing people. about it was his lied. fire. Yeah, that was the only cool part. Probably yeah. lied about the attendance. Everybody's is always known to lie about the attendance. They always give him an extra, extra couple like thousand, hundred or something. Yeah. Extra, yeah, it's probably like forty five. They're like, oh, make say forty eight. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's terrible. Um, you want to see what's next? Uh, so we had Liv and Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Champion. Um, I was kind of a little confused on this one, how they built even built this up, because when Liv originally won the championship at Money in the Bank, um, Ronda was, like, shaking her hand, like, oh, truce, like, yeah, you deserve it, cool. And then, like, the next week, she's like, give me my champion back. And I'm like, um, okay. What was that for? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, she was like, this was a feud about shaking hands. Yes. It's like, I shook your hand. I now I'm going to beat you, I take it and back. you're going to shake my hand. Yeah. That was like, that's like the thing where uh, you go in for a handshake, and then you're just like, ooh, ooh and you just you do you know, thing like swipe it on her, your head. Comb your hair back. Comb your hair back, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Psych. what this feud was. They built a feud on handshaking. Yeah. Give them props for that. No, but all in all, this was a good match. Like, they, 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 yeah. they, did, they did tell a story in this match, um, of course, with Liv's arm. Yeah. And then basically we had a heel turn mm-hmm. because that clearly Ronda was pretty pissed when yeah. uh, and just kept working when on that, that finish arm. happened. Yeah. She attacked Liv Morgan, put the arm bar again for like the fifth time. But after the match, because basically how the finish went, she had her in the arm bar for like the fifth time. Yeah. And then Liv got her on her shoulders and then the referee the pinned three. Mm-hmm. And then as the referee pinned three, Liv, Liv actually tapped at like two. Mm-hmm. So technically Liv tapped first before. Yeah. The full count. Exactly. So technically, Ronda should have won, but the way they did it, Dusty finished. You know, RIP Dusty Rhodes. You know, they made it to where, you know, Ronda doesn't look weak. Ronda, yeah. you know, when she turns heel at the end. I really think she, she. It, I don't know what happened, but it really looked like, unless that referee's double jointed, it really looked like she broke his elbow. Yes. That oh, was like, God, his, when she like there was like two too? seconds where his arm was like flopping. I was like, whoa, is that really broken? <laughs> like, you were pretty concerned about that ref. Oh, yeah, poor guy. Like, <laughs> she. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's one of the things I love about wrestling when the lines blur like that and I can't even, like a lifelong wrestling fan can't even me like there's moments where I can uh, distinguish from reality yeah. and you know kayfabe and that's why I love wrestling because I love those moments there can be months and months of <laughs> jobber sorry wrestling on TV but if there's just one moment a month where that those lines blur or just exciting moments like what happened in the main event tonight yeah, that's the definition of being a wrestling fan, where you'll you'll sit there and you'll wait through the bullshit times just to get those peak moments. Mm-hmm. Well said. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, baby, take a shot here. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's take this shot. Yeah, let's do it. The clink. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sorry, guys, that was a shot break. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't mind dinner for that. <laughs> the spicy. Um. Yeah. What do we have next? Um. Well, so live retain. I know we said that. What would you rate it? I'm gonna give it a two. I'd give it a two. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty solid match. Yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Yeah. Now it's time for the main event. Shit. What? They put what out all the time. stops. What? Yeah. What, what a, a time final to match. be a wrestling fan. Literally. Because this is the this is the kind of match that in 20 years when we're telling our kids. You know, because of course our kids are going to be wrestling. We're going to be fans. showing our kids this footage, like yes, yeah. There in was a time years. where Brock Lesnar, when yeah, in twenty years when Brock Lesnar <laughs> or whatever getting the duck to the Hall of Fame, would be like, yeah, one of our favorite Brock Lesnar moments was when he drove a tractor to the <laughs> ring. It looks just like that red tractor we have out there, son. <laughs> yeah, literally. He drove a tractor the one to right the ring, outside. and he, and that by the not only during the match did he put Roman in it and scooped him out into the ring. <laughs> Then, at one point, when Roman was in the ring, he pushed the ring and yeah. then lifted the shit up. Lifted to it. To where, like, Roman, like, basically, like, slid out the ring. Yeah, like, he, like, show him this toppled, moment. like, he just, like, rolled down the ring like a fucking ball. And he, this is what I mean. We're going to have to show him because explaining <laughs> is, like, it doesn't sh- it doesn't give it. It doesn't do it justice. It doesn't do it justice how 
freaking i'm never like we being like i said being a wrestling fan all my life i've seen rings destroyed in many ways yeah you know shit by undertaker and kane then you know you have the brock lesnar big show and yeah. then big show braun Strowman or whatever and then the ring destroys yeah. no one has ever lifted the ring up like that that was a first is it and it was awesome it could, could it be pretty accurate if i say that because this is the only other time that i know of that they use like a tractor like Zamboni or something like well, that. Stone but Cold, yeah, Stone Cold used Zambonis. He used like yeah. beer trucks and things and like that. And then when uh, the the Undertaker got buried, right, he had to use like a tractor to dump the dirt and stuff Oh, to dump him. the dirt. But like, yeah, right. and then when the Undertaker and Kane feud was happening right before WrestleMania 20 when Undertaker returned, they did a thing where they had like hydraulics in the ring and the ring was like shaking. Oh they did one thing with Kurt Angle and uh, Kurt Angle like had won the Royal Rumble or had won the world title or something. Yeah. And then Undertaker came out and like they made the ring like ropes collapse. Whoa. Um, and then of course the big, you know, double suplex when you have like Brock Lesnar and Big Show they made the ring collapse that way yeah. but no no one's ever like there's times where Triple H or uh, not Triple H Stone Cold has drove Zambonis to the ring and like hit it, hit the ring with it and you yeah. see the ring kind of move a little bit but, but nothing, nothing like this nothing to this extent yeah. nothing to this extent <laughs> you loved yes. it I could see the excitement in your face yes. when it was happening this was awesome this yeah. was awesome and I know you mentioned Brock's uh, insurance but I just wanted to make this little comment that the fact that I could have took a whole ass nap during Roman Reigns entrance <laughs> yes. he was soaking in that fucking like entrance. for a second there i was like whoa it, wait is he still coming out like i feel like i had to snap out of it because i was like am i still watching this yes <laughs> just guys we hadn't seen this match like we talking about it again you got to go but if you didn't like, like i said summer was all right yeah from our ratings but yeah. this match was it was actually yeah. like a good match if you yeah. and i know like even my dad was like you know before when i was telling about summer he's like brock and roman are wrestling again again and i was like, like you know, the 20th time yeah so it, i know it, it, it i was kind of just like eh because of that but yeah. They they made they up for it. They showed out. They showed out. They pulled out all the stops. Yeah. So, um, and I I feel like if they could, if I know the whole thing was this is like their last. This could last be their last standing, thing, right? Last match, yeah. Yes, I feel like this was a good way to do it. So it's like, please don't fight again, at least not for yeah. a while. Yeah, and it basically <laughs> it ended with like a freaking like Jason, you know, uh, Michael Myers you know leather face type <laughs> ending where brock kept getting up after yeah. everything roman had hit him with like you know the belt like twice had yeah. hit him with like a bunch of other stuff and then they yeah. had a you know, roman and the usos had to bury yeah. basically brock with the announce table and steps and all that for him to finally get counted 10 so brock um you know couldn't get up for the 10 count and roman reigns is still Universal Champion. Another great moment was the Paul Heyman moment. <laughs> yes, the Paul Heyman moment. And then also, don't forget, Theory attempted to cash in. Oh, yeah. So, in the yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. We built that up earlier. We didn't even talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I was um, like, whoa, moving along. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, technically, yeah. Theory got F5'd on the briefcase, and yeah. Paul Heyman got F5'd on the announce table. <laughs> Pretty Brock. much. Yeah. So, Theory gets taken out. It's never, it was just like a tease. Like, a, it was never an official, like, oh, I cash it in. Because the ref's like, oh, do you cash, you want to cash this in? And, like, he never even responds before. Or he gets taken yeah, out. Yeah, so know, the so. bell didn't ring, so technically he's yeah. still going to have the briefcase. Yeah, it's not going to count. Maybe so. he'll cash in after the Drew McIntyre Roman match. I don't know. Possibly. We can see. Possibly. Uh, what if they have Drew he beat could. Roman and then he cashes in on Drew? So technically, Drew's a transitional champion. Oh. Man. No, but there is not ready. I don't think so. But that, that's what I was telling you before, Summer Sam. I said, Triple H, he, he wants to make, he wants to show a real change. That would be a shocking real change. Oh, making, yeah. Given, given the strap to theory. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. But wow. theory, Theory's daddy isn't there anymore. <laughs> Robert's like, I'm going to be your daddy. Funny <laughs> the moment. tribal chief. So the I, tribal chief retains. Tribal I, chief is on top. I'd give it a four. I'm going to give it a four also. Yeah, I'd give it a four. And then yeah. uh, Summer Slam as a whole. I'd give it a three because, like oh. I said, there was like we had a lot of two matches in there, yeah. but there was a lot of matches in those moments. There were three and or a lot of moments in those matches. There were three, four moments. Yeah. So overall, I think it, it, give it a SummerSlam gets a this is awesome. Gosh, I'm so indecisive. I feel like I want to give it a four, but like I feel like I see where you're coming from also mm -hmm. with the three. Because all the, all the matches as a whole weren't yeah. too good, and like yeah. like I said, Brock and Roman that wasn't a wrestling clinic, you know yeah. that was just a straight. But then I'm the type of wrestling fan that likes shit like that. So from <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why that got a four. As this is you know. this was an awesome premium live event, so I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, did awesome. we say the Rock Brock Roman. Roman match? I give that a four. Uh oh, yeah, I give it a four also. Okay, so Brock and Roman. So get yeah, a four. they got what they deserve. Yeah, and then the sure. the night itself gets a three. Yes, what a night it was. Yeah, it was. 
So what? Uh, we have Clash the Castle Castle next. Yeah, and then I guess for we WWE, can, and then we can do Quake at the Lake because we haven't. Yeah. Well, we talked. AW. Technically, the last AW episode we did was our last episode, double or nothing. But you know, yeah. we missed a few pay per views here and there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully, we'll be back on track, people. Um, like we said, it's yeah. the one thing trying to get one podcast off the ground. Um, you know, this this is really like, like this podcast is really just for our passion because we're just like. We have to talk about wrestling. We just about have to wrestling. talk about it. We have to put our thoughts and our yeah and our opinions out there when it comes yeah. to wrestling because let's face it, everybody fucking does. Yeah. And if anything, like I said, I've been a wrestling fan since I've had a conscience, and you are a big you had you know your face of wrestling fans since you were a kid. Oh yeah. And then the fact that we are a wrestling couple, um, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. I I think it really is. No pun intended to the rating <laughs> of SummerSlam, but this is awesome. You know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, people. I'm drunk. <laughs> um, you know, if, if you if you follow Caven Universe and then you happen to know about Caven Universe Raw, the our Patreon episode where we talk about you know whatever we do mm-hmm. it in one take. It, you know, we don't edit uncensored. This is what Jobber Shark was gonna be from now on. Yeah, it's gonna be done in one take. It's gonna be no editing. I'm just gonna release it just how it is. And yeah, that's the beauty of it, guys. This is this is the raw wrestling footage. Exactly. Yeah, we're not gonna focus on trying to fill a theme or fill whatever agenda to get views or whatever. We're just gonna put our wrestling opinions out there. And if you're listening, we love you. We love you guys. What? What's? Uh, damn it! I forgot the WWE saying. What is it? Together for. Together then now and forever. Together then now whatever. I don't fucking know. Together, <laughs> together forever then now whatever. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Together, <laughs> boom. then boom. Boom.